Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back, Football Manager 20. This is Season 6, Episode 2, with our fifth club, FK Karl Skrona in Sweden. Uh, last episode, we beat Helsingborgs 2-0, uh, lost to Hammerby 1-0. Uh, today we're playing Brahma Pajama and Gothenburg, and uh, let's get to it. I don't think, let's see, because we did the season... So we only played Elfsburg off camera. I don't believe I've had any transfers. Yeah, nothing, nothing going on. So we're going to keep rolling with our tactic. I am going to try something a little different. Instead of being attacking, I'm going to drop it to cautious. Uh, I've been playing a solo save with a couple of different tactics and I am finding cautious to be very helpful to me personally. You know, it may not be uh, all the time, but uh, anyway, so that's what our tactics look looking like now. Uh, I also have changed out uh, this tactic into a straight 442. I kind of like that one. And it goes along with that one. So they should be able to play it relatively quickly. Uh, all right. So we're going to have O'Driscoll up top. How is he doing this season? He's got one and three in the league, three and four in the cup. Uh, Irish striker. And I believe we set our team here. Let's double check. Yeah, we just did. All right. So we've got Selenius on the bench, Olander on the bench, Pison. You know, I don't really need that many strikers, do I? And Coco, Seeger, let's go ahead and drop Selenius. Yeah, he's got the 15. Well, actually, you know what? That's why I put him in there, because there's nobody else with super fitness uh, outside of Carlson. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just keep him there. Getting into some match congestion. So... It'll take a little while. Let me readjust my microphone here. Sorry about that. I've actually been out of town working. Just got home uh, a few minutes ago. So I've got a video rendering to go up tomorrow and just playing a little catch up here. So uh, this episode should go up Thursday. Thursday, I think. Uh, take revenge. Sure, they like the revenge bit. All right, Gunners. Lays it in. Oh, Pallison shoots wide. That was a goal just asking to happen. Evans controls it. Lays it off to Thompson. Back around to Evans. Into Thompson. Good ball movement. That was not good ball movement. Over the, over the top and through the middle to Grandmother's House we go. Knocked away for a corner. Don't really like seeing that. The home stand's getting a little packed here, fellas. There's a few seats available in there if you haven't bought your season tickets yet. But uh, it's a pretty good crowd at the old home stadium. Looks like Pallison knocked that out for a corner. Push him out, push him out. Oh, good job. O'Driscoll, what can he do with it? He holds it up. Oh, he is just stomped by Wagermo. He didn't get a card for that? Holy hell. That's kind of crazy. So they're playing a 4-4-2 with the deep line, with the deep defensive mids. It's time to get creative. Let's, uh, let's do something. All right, Thompson, O'Driscoll right into McFarland's hands. McFarland, that's so funny. So I, I travel periodically with my job. I'm a uh, regional sales manager. And uh, I was watching uh, a movie uh, on my Amazon Prime account uh, called McFarland USA. Based on a true story, I'm big into sports movies. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend it. It's dealing with high school track and field. Be what it is. Uh-oh. A little dangerous. They get away with it. 
but it's a very good movie. I'm a big fan. So I was watching that and it, you know, it's called McFar. Oh, what a tackle. And it's called McFarland USA. So, the, you know, just seeing McFarland in the goal, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. They're pressured. Let's show some passion. Fire them up. Final minutes. All right. Mm. Let's drop the tempo. <coughs> So one of the things I think in tempo is if they if they slow it down, then they can they'll possess the ball better, is what I believe uh, happens there. Now you know we don't have work into the box. We're taking good shots, so I think that's okay. We're okay there. Let's drop him back, narrow that up just a little bit. Get into the dressing room. Uh, disappointing. They're fired up. A little nervous to start things off. A little flick on header. We get control. Uh, you had him open on the wing. Why did you do that? Uh Why, oh, why did you do that? Crossed over. Volleyed. Oof. Got a little lucky there. Demand more. All right, they're focused. Six out of ten, seven out of thirteen. We're putting shots on goal. All right, Seeger. Controls the ball into Evans, over to Gunners, out wide to Dieter, back into Gunners, all right, controlling it in the mid. Thompson comes into play, out to Lindback, who makes the run. Well, Evans is going to take a ping. Oh, no, that was Evans that squared it. That was Gunners. My bad. My bad. Come on, Thompson. Put something into the box. Gunners back into the box. Larson takes a shot at it. All right, Evans pulls it out. All right, let's... Um... He's playing well, but let's bring Jacobson on for him. I'm going to bring Dietert in. Well, actually, I guess I'm not. We'll bring Roche. There we go. All right, we'll do that. A little bit of shuffling on the back line. Let's get creative again. All right. Uh, let's, let's dial it up to attacking here, man. Passion. Gunners. No, right to, right to McFarland again. You know, this is a club we really should be beating, I think. Oh no, the one touch. All right. Looks like our back line got, got back on defense, even though he one-touched it right past him. All right, you know what? I am going to I'm gonna drop it back to cautious here. Just try to make sure we keep a point. Damn, I hate doing that. We dominated this game. Only one chance created, though. Dominated possession. Shots on target. All right, that drops us to fourth here in the early going. Uh, definitely disappointing. Seeger looks stressed out. All right, we'll see you guys back here in just a second for the next match. So I have decided to transfer list Gel Selenius, and uh, he had a couple of good. You know, he had a uh, he had a good year for us, right? He was our our number two striker option, but we've, we've moved on from him. He's really fallen off a lot of reserve appearances that year. And he, you know, 
he's you know one match this year in six so uh, i do have a guy that i'm looking at only if i can move him if i can't move him it doesn't do me any good he's got a lot of potential five star potential and i could get him pretty affordably but and I'm going to try, let's see, we're road favorites here against Gothenburg. I want to try this tactic. We're going to give it a shot. So, Selenius, this will be a shop window for him. Pison up top. Roche got injured uh, in training just, uh, well, in between the last match and this one. He's out for four weeks. Gunners is going to be out. O'Driscoll's out. A lot of these guys are still recovering. So that is what it is. Uh, Thompson. Thompson. All right. He can do the job on the left. But we've got Coco, Evans, Jacobson, Thompson in the middle. Seeger drops from the attacking left wing to the wing back on the left side. He can play both of those pretty well. All right, let's get to it. See what happens here. Uh, oh, wait. And yes, I do have this as cautious. I think it's a good idea to go cautious with a new tactic just because they're not as aggressive. And it helps them break in a little bit. And I'm not 100% positive this is the tactic I'm playing in my solo save. But I know it's this kind of 4-4-2, four, four, you know, flat, flat stack. All right, Seeger with the nice touch. Oh, he lumps it. Nobody makes the run. We've got some pressure. There we go. All right, we collapse back. Oh, what a stab tackle by Evans. Oh, we should have stopped that right there. Good block. Good block. No, oh, that was just unlucky. Fifth goal of the season for Grunland. I think that's Grunland. The little umlauts throw me off. That was unlucky. Two big blocks by the back line. Keeper went after that second one. Ugh. Brutal. All right. Mm, all right. Let's uh, let's go up to attacking. All right, Millette drives in. There's a cross, headed wide of the mark. Keeper wisely laid off. He saw it. That one goes high. All right, I'm just looking for any type of reaction here. All right, we finally have a highlight to see how this looks. No, stabbed away. Not happy with that. Not happy with that. Mm. I'm going to go back to balanced. I think I'm going to switch tactics at the half here. Good block. Larson's on it. Poor clearance. Jeez. Come on, guys. Evans, a potential knee injury. I'm going to go ahead and sub him off at the half here. Uh, for England, there we go. Don't know how bad that is, but I don't think I want to be messing with it. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Undo that. I'm going to go back to this tactic. All right. Selenius can only play striker. Pison can play there. Selenius up top. Thompson can play here. So then I want England on the field there. Let me uh, also... We've got the high tempo. And let's try to work the ball into the box a little bit. All right. Disappointing. Fair enough. Demand more. 
All right, there's a good header down to Coco. Lays it off, Jacobson. Oh, my God, he plays it all the way back to Costman. Bailey's going to start to rebuild it from the back. Well, that was, that was short-lived. All right, out wide to Seeger. He holds it up and lays it off. Thompson plays it deep. Is he on sides? Oh, come on. He overran the freaking ball. Jeez. Oh, some nice one. Oh, stolen by Johansson. And he slots it home. All right, we're going to have to go attacking now. Shit. Horrible play on the defensive side there. Show some passion. All right. Cleared out, but nobody's there. Stolen away by Pison. Selenius on the run, beats his man, cuts it inside, takes the ping, left peg just goes wide of the mark. That would have been helpful to put that in. All right, uh, let's put DuPont on the right, Georgievich, and I'm going to move Pysod up front. And I'm going to bring Christian Larson on, and I'm going to blow my... Whoa. Oh, we made the sub at halftime. Hmm. Let me rethink that. All right. Pallison for DuPont for sure. Seeger or Thompson? Yeah, I think I go that way. All right. Show some passion. Come on, guys. Uh, let's see. I'm going to drop that back. We're going to do never. I'm going to take that off. Because that hadn't seemed to help us any. We're actually less shots on target. And I guess it would help if I would hit play. Come on, boys. All right, that goes over. No goal. Seeger's dead, and we don't even get a highlight. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go full aggressive. Yeah, you don't get the day off if you can't do the job. So two losses in our last three. That's not good. All right, well, five to six days. That's not as bad as it could have been. Could have been. All right, so maybe we've got somebody looking at Selenius, so that's cool. Uh, so we're still in the playoffs. Well, there is no playoffs, so what, wait a minute. What is this? This is European qualifying? No, it is a playoff. No, it's not a playoff. Man, it'd be nice to start pulling four million dollars, huh? All right, so where? It's not showing me any qualifications, so I don't know what. Oh well. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let's see. If we go here, this last season, Euro Cup. Okay, and I don't know what these guys qualify. That may be for group st uh, play, you know, play-in stage or something. But that's, man, we just missed it last year. All right, well, where do we come back, fellas? Well, I want to get probably, let's, go, let's come back for Hawken and Malmo. And that will give us a good run of teams. Uh, that way Tom doesn't have to watch me take down nor coping. Of course, this is a good time to get me, I guess. <laughs> it looks like we're in a, in a slump, bad run of form. 
But yeah, let's come back for Hawken and Malmo. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.